Hi there. Now for this question, we've just got z equals 5 root 3 minus 5i. And we've got to find in part a the modulus of z for one mark. In part b, the arg of z in terms of pi for two marks. And then we're given that the complex number w equals 2 times the cosine of pi upon 4 plus i sine pi upon 4. And we've got to find the mod of w over z for one mark. And then finally, in part d, the arg of w over z in terms of pi for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward if you just want to uh, check out the uh, final answers. But I'm going to take you slowly through this. Now I would encourage you to draw a sketch of the argon diagram. And it would look something like this, where we've got our real axis and imaginary axis, and the complex number z. You've got the real part here is 5 root 3, and the imaginary part, negative 5i, is just 5 units down. And so the modulus of z, i.e. the length of z, is given by Pythagoras' theorem. And the arg of z is this angle in here. And note that it's in the negative sense. Okay, So you expect a negative angle. So let's start with part A then. We've got to get the modulus of z, and we do that through Pythagoras' theorem. So it's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the two sides. So that would be 5 root 3, all squared, plus 5 squared. And this comes to 75, this is 25, that's 100, root 100 is 10. Okay, so the magnitude, the modulus of z, if you like, is 10. Now for part b, we've got to work out the arg of z. And whenever I do questions with the argument, I always work off the acute angle. Just take the positive sides here. So if I was working out this acute angle in here, it would be the inverse tan of 5 over 5 root 3. But because we need to take the negative turn here, put a minus in the front there. So when you cancel out these 5s, you end up with 1 over root 3. Well-known angle, it's the equivalent of 30 degrees, but we're working in radians here. So that's going to be pi upon 6. So don't forget that minus there, so it's going to be equal minus pi upon 6. And that would be measured in radians. OK? Now for part C, we're given this complex number here, w, and we've got to find the mod then of w over z. So we'll just start over here, part C then, for the mod of w over z. And for this type of question, when you're dividing, it's exactly the same as working out the mod of w divided by the mod of z. And the mod of w, well, this is always the value in the front here. So that's 2. And we've got the mod of z. We found out that it was 10. So 2 tenths, 0 0.2 as a decimal, or it reduces down to 1 fifth. OK. Now, in the next part, part d, we've now got to find then the arg of w over z. And this is testing the fact that you should know that this is exactly the same as the arg of w minus the arg of z. And the arg of w, well, that's the angle that's mentioned in here. And that will be pi upon 4. And from this, we have to subtract the arg of z, which was minus pi upon 6. And working this out gives you 5 pi over 12. 5 pi over 12, I'll put in radians there, okay? 